Our top story this afternoon, it was an exhilarating two and a half weeks of competition with the world coming together despite the pandemic to marvel at the skills and strength of some of the greatest athletes on earth. On Sunday evening, the curtain came down on the Tokyo Olympics with a grand closing ceremony with the Japanese organizers passing the baton to the next host city, Paris. Hansong Yu starts us off. Delayed by a year and set against the backdrop of deep public skepticism. But despite that, it was a games packed with legendary sporting moments and one that saw the rise of new superstars. After a wild ride of ups and downs, the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics have come to a close. Organizers passed the baton to Paris at the closing ceremony Sunday, beginning with the hoisting of the Japanese flag. The remaining athletes then entered the nearly empty Japan National Stadium in another parade of nations before the Olympics' five rings lit up the night sky in a special effects spectacle only visible on TV. They were using augmented reality. The athletes and others in the stadium were not able to actually see. South Korea's flag bearer was modern pentathlete Chun Ung Tae, who on Saturday won the bronze medal the country's first ever Olympic medal in the sport. Following a mix of congratulatory performances was the medal presentation for both the women's and the men's marathon, where Kenya's Eliud Kipchoge stepped to the top of Tokyo 2020's final podium. Local artists in traditional dress performed Japanese dance and music throughout the ceremony. And with IOC President Thomas Bach as mediator, the governor of Tokyo, Yuriko Koike, handed over the Olympic flag to Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo, which set off a video promoting the next Summer Olympics in the French capital. The ceremony then switched to a live connection to the next host city, where crowds of Parisians cheered as jet planes colored the sky in France's famous red, white and blue. What emotion, what a great moment to celebrate the return of the Games back at home 100 years later. We wanted to hold this celebration between the athletes and the public, their supporters. And the message is the city of Paris, the world's most beautiful city, will transform into a huge sports field in 2024. Bach later declared the Games closed and festivities came to an end with the Olympic cauldron being put out before a blaze of fireworks. A fitting way to bring the curtain down on more than two weeks of athletic competition and the largest global sporting event to take place since the beginning of the pandemic. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.